Women are people. That seems to be a pretty simple concept that everyone should be able to understand, right? Well, think again. Women are everywhere. They're in our streets, in our workplaces, in our governments, and even in our TVs. Well, sort of. The thing is that the women that we see in our ads and in our films are not like the women we tend to meet in our daily lives, at least not for the most part. These women are modified, presented to us in a way that takes away all the wonderful variety of the female population and, more often than not, leaves us only with one of the greatest problems that women have to face nowadays, objectification. But what is objectification anyway? Well, it happens when you portray a person not as a human being, but as an object, as something that doesn't act, but is acted upon. For example, if you use a pencil to write something down, the pencil is the object, because you are using it. You, on the other hand, are the subject, the one who uses the pencil. But now the question is, how does this happen to women? Well, first a woman has to be portrayed as weak or dependent. She cannot be in control of the situation, and her personality has to be that of a brick. In most cases, this objectification is presented to the viewer in a sexual scenario. There, the woman is shown as something to be used only for sex. She is usually scantily clad, and does not seem to have feelings or desires. She is only there to give pleasure, never to receive it. Now comes the more serious bit, the effects. The objectification of women in media is not a good thing. Girls are bombarded with society's expectations of what they have to be like since incredibly young ages. The women they see on TV and magazines teach them that they have to look a certain way and act a certain way in order to be accepted and loved by others. This can destroy a young girl's self-esteem and it can lead to body shame and unhealthy eating habits such as extreme dieting and eating disorders. In more extreme cases, it can lead to depression, self-loathing, and even suicide. But arguably the worst part of it all is that some women end up believing that they are inherently objects. They accept the limitations that are presented to them, and they begin to objectify not only other women, but themselves as well. This perpetuates female objectification and encourages men to continue to view and treat women as merely objects. This generates a society filled with conflict and hatred where women are not seen as people, or at least not as people of the same value as men. However, to stop it, you first need to know how to recognize it. So, to do so, you can try asking yourself these nine questions whenever you are not sure whether a piece of media is objectifying a woman or not. One. Are parts of a sexualized woman's body the center of attention? If this is the case, that woman is probably being sexually objectified, especially if her face is not shown or if she's seen from behind, like in this ad from American Apparel. 2. Is a sexualized woman presented as a stand-in for an object? Doing this only reaffirms the idea that that woman is not a human being, but a commodity to be used by others. For example, this picture from the magazine Details portrays a woman as a stand-in for a table. 3. Are sexualized women shown as interchangeable? This action implies that women can be swapped and that only their bodies matter, whereas their personalities are non-existent or are just not important enough. In this ad, although the women's skin tones and hair colors do vary, they are still portrayed as being all the same in essence, presented in this way so the beholder can pick and choose his favorite. 4. Is the idea of violating the bodily integrity of a sexualized woman who can't consent reaffirmed? Besides implying once again that a woman is merely an object to be taken advantage of, this practice also condones rape and sexual assault, making it incredibly dangerous. In this advertisement from Duncan Queen, a woman has passed out in a sexually suggestive position and a man is creepily nearby. It makes rape look like something acceptable or even desirable. 5. Is a woman's purpose or goal clear and relatable? Women's roles, especially in movies, tend to be much less relatable than those created for men, and their goals are usually rather ambiguous. Many times, they are mainly there as eye candy for the male viewer. 6. Is the sexual availability of a woman presented as her only defining characteristic? Again, this means that the woman in question is being portrayed as a sex object with no purpose other than to provide sexual pleasure, usually for men. In this advertisement from American Apparel, the woman in question is now open, presumably for sex, and that is the only aspect of her personality the viewer is ever made aware of. 7. 
Is a sexualized woman portrayed as a commodity that can be bought and sold? Again, this reiterates the idea that women are just that, commodities, not people. This ad by Red Tape literally shows women being sold in a vending machine. 8. Is a woman's sexualized body treated as a canvas? This makes people give their attention to a woman's body without being concerned by her personality, ideas, or other human qualities, like in this ad for Francesco Biasaya handbags. 9. Is a woman weak, never in control of the situation, or constantly dependent on men? This means that women are seen as inherently less powerful than men, and therefore are not given the same level of responsibility they are. In the movie Twilight New Moon, for example, the main character Bella is completely useless by herself and constantly needs men to come and rescue her. So, now that you know all that, get out there and use this information. Be critical about the media you consume. If you notice an inappropriate ad, or if you realize a movie is objectifying women just for the sake of it, try speaking out about it. Try telling your friends, spread awareness, because as long as women are objectified in the media as rampantly as they are now, as long as this is seen as normal, equality will not be achieved. Until then, thank you for watching.